For how unpopulated the Dakotas are, it seems weird why they are divided. So why are there two Dakotas? Well, in 1861, the Dakota Territory was created looking like this, but it would soon become just the Dakotas. To encourage people to settle west, the U.S. passed the Homestead Act of 1862, which allowed people to get 160 acres of land for 10 to $18. Because of this act, many people flocked to the Dakotas, causing their population to boom, having only under 15,000 people in 1870, but within just 10 years, the population skyrocketed to over 150,000. The distribution of this population wasn't even though, as the majority of the population lived in the south. That's why when a corrupt legislator moved the capital north to Bismarck, the southerners weren't too happy. You see, the legislature for territories were chosen by the federal government in DC, and the legislators usually only stayed in Dakota during their term, leaving after it ended. This made southerners feel resentment towards the legislators because they felt they were outsiders. Meanwhile, the northerners were more accepting and tolerant towards them. These differing views caused tension between both sides, and something else that didn't help this was that they were economically different. The North had trade routes leading from Bismarck to Fargo, further branching out to Minneapolis and St. Paul, while South Dakota had routes going from Sioux City to Omaha and Chicago. Another thing to mention is that the Dakotas weren't directly connected by rail until just a few years before becoming states. This isolation left both sides feeling less connected. Plus, the Southerners also thought that the Northerners were disreputable and wild, due to the North frequently being the site of conflict with the the indigenous population. So with the southerners fed up with the legislature northerners and because they well exceeded the population requirement for statehood, they asked congress if they could break away from the north and become their own state. The federal government said no though, saying to either do it as one very large state or wait until you have enough people on both sides to be two separate states. Not wanting to be in the same state as the northerners, the southerners decided it was best to wait. This waiting wouldn't take long though as the Dakotas were still going through a population boom and before they knew it, it was 1889 in the north well exceeded the population threshold. So on November 2nd, 1883, the Dakotas broke away from each other to become their own separate states. And with both of them not wanting to give up the name Dakota, the two became the states of North Dakota and South Dakota. If you ever wondered why there are two Carolinas, click here. The video will be coming out in one to two weeks. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye!